welcome back. It's your favorite spoiler from Movie Drilling. For more updates, you can like, comment, and subscribe to our channel. The sixth episode of Masters of the Air features Major Harry Crosby traveling to Oxford for a week of lectures. While there, he rooms with Sandra Westgate, a British military subaltern whose name he finds difficult to pronounce and comprehend. Although Sandra never tells Crosby what she really does for a living, she grows to be a confidante during his grief at the passing of Captain Joseph Bubbles Payne, his best buddy. Together with the gregarious Westgate, Crosby enjoys his brief sojourn away from Thorpe Abbotts before heading back to resume his duties as the 100 New Group Navigator. Major Harry Crosby's plot in Masters of the Air Episode 6 included a little but humorous element with his inability to pronounce the word subaltern. Crosby keeps mispronouncing the name of his roommate, Subaltern Westgate, even after the man welcoming him to Oxford mentions it. This leads to an awkward yet humorous exchange between the two men. When Crosby eventually gets to meet Sandra later on, he picks up the proper pronunciation of the word. But Masters of the Air actually does a terrible job of explaining what a subaltern is and did during World War II. This translates to something like a first lieutenant or a second lieutenant in the U.S. Army. A subaltern is essentially a subordinate officer in general. In the British Auxiliary Territorial Service, women were frequently assigned the rank of subaltern or second subaltern. The women's division of the British Army did not receive official military ranks until the 1950s. In the British Army, a subaltern might work in any number of positions. Thus, delving into Sandra's rank doesn't actually reveal much about the nature of her unidentified profession. But given how abruptly she had to leave Oxford at the end of episode 6, it's probably safe to assume that her job is important enough and that she contributes significantly to it. It seems unclear that Sandra will be revisited in Masters of the Air's final three episodes, therefore further information regarding her role is unlikely to be provided. Lower class, although Sandra Westgate is fictitious, the real women who served in the British Auxiliary Territorial Service served as her inspiration. Originally called the Women's Auxiliary Army Corps, the ATS was a female-only unit inside the British Army. Despite not engaging in as hazardous work as their male counterparts in the British Army, women in the ATS played crucial roles in research, communication, and transportation. Master of the Air's Sandra Westgate is a prime example of the kind of clever and fascinating women who fought in England during World War II. Thank you once again. At Movie Drilling, we provide you with everything you need to know. For more, like, comment, and subscribe to our channel.